The Desert Hunters chapter, formed in 034M34, was built for the intention to counter a growing threat of the Sahadarin mercenaries and to inspect the communication delay and inflating radio darkness slowly spreading to the stars past the northern border of the segment of Obscurus. The growing blackout of communications is theorised to be a tyrannic threat, but it was discovered to be a new and terrifying Xenos threat yet to be named. These beings, made up of intelligent inky mists that take control of derelict spacefaring vessels, both Imperial and Xenos alike, and attack anything and everything around them, and even expunge psychic networks within Imperial space, and have been known to feed off the Astronomicon as a food source. The parent chapter of the Desert Hunters are the Salamanders. In a freak accident on Mars where a demonic computer virus took control of a machine spirit growing the zygote batch from the chapter, and heavily altered the stock, horribly mutating the genes to have a 90% gene mutation chance, Desert Hunter Marines not only suffering from melochromic mutation, but also have no multi lungs, as that zygote was destroyed by the virus. The chapter itself is made up of a very fraternal death cult, believing that death in battle is the reward of vigour, and that the items the chapter produces, either by the Marines themselves or in the chapter forge, are representations of the lasting forest of their creators, and that they live on in the machines they make. It's not uncommon for some of their brethren to take the brain cells of their battle brothers to cease bodies and turn them into machine spirits for pieces of armour, vehicles, or into servo skulls. This cult is also a very secretive organisation, deeming it dangerous to tell any more of their deeds, quests, journeys, or even the most basic details about themselves or their chapter, even to other fellow space marines or imperial officials, making this chapter a very mistrusted one for their secrecy. And many times, the Inquisition and the Mechanicum have claimed threats of heresy against them. However, the Desert Hunters often ignore the outside of their own society, so these slights are often forgotten by them and pass like time. The Desert Hunters collect the machines their brothers make and store them in a library on their capital ship, the Patro, an ironclad class battleship they were gifted by the Imperium for them to commit their duties while on the run. The chapter is confined to only one starship. They do, however, have dozens of Thunderhawks and fighters to defend the massive ship from attack. The chapter is most known for, however, besides its secretive nature, their battle brother Janus Caffiel's deeds aboard the Eldar craft of Keen. Caffiel is the sergeant of the Night Terminator squad of the Desert Hunter's first company. Caffiel, on a mission to retrieve what was perceived to be an Imperial relic stolen and locked up on an Eldar craft world ages ago, based on local legends of the sect they were in, was forced to fight his way through hundreds of Eldar guardians while entering the inner perimeters of the craft world. While interrogating a hostage, the Eldar told him there was no artifact to be found, and that it was in fact just a legend. Not believing the Eldar, Janus slew him, and with his remaining squad of three other Terminators out of five, Janus continued onwards and deeper into the craft world. While searching for the token, the craft world's engines began to activate a webway jump. So large was it that the attack had yet to reach the leaders of the vessel, and the jump was on schedule with the craft world's regular routine route. Janus was forced to pull out and in the nick of time. After placing a series of melt bombs in the exhaust vent in the ship's rear, Janus, after returning back to the Patro through teleportation, detonated the charges and overloaded the engines, sending the ship not into the webway, but instead into the warp, dooming the entire culture on the ship to an end without redemption. Janus, however, perceived this as a failure to retrieve the artifact, without really finding out if there was one in the first place. Since the chapter is fleet based, it is extremely difficult for the chapter to recruit initiates. It was up until 206M35 that the chapter was severely under strength, and a restriction was put on the chapter's quest within the hostile territories outside of the Imperium until the chapter was at a safer density. The chapter had begun to kidnap children from nearby planets on hostile death worlds and hive worlds. However, after being caught, the chapter was sent on a penitent crusade for the decade into the borders of the Eye of Terror to fend off chaos forces coming and going from the gigantic warp storm. This essentially sealed the fate of the chapter, until the ironclad Patro was assaulted by a rogue trader pirate fleet. The fleet was destroyed, but the Patro was barely functioning. It took another three decades for the chapter to fix the ship, whilst fending off a constant demonic incursion around the area where they lay. It was to the Desert Hunter's surprise that during the great battle 30 years before where the rogue traders had come to a finish, as survivors had boarded the ship with modified stealth craft and dark Eldar technology. The survivors had been reduced to a near tribal state because of the lack of supplies, and the cold, dark, harsh environment of the deepest levels of the vessel, the tribe formed their society based around mechanical skills, darkness, metal, and war. They had called themselves the Rebeon. 
They, at the time, had grown small, pale, and starved, but they had a faith-based society, having the Ashlebrata, or the Emperor, to them as their god. It was extremely hard to kill them off as the Desert Hunters were large and sluggish space marines in armour, where the Remillions were swift and cunning, being able to slip into crags, tunnels, plumbing, and secret passages, and run from the conflict after dealing heavy loads of rapid gunfire. They were also skilled in producing makeshift trap bombs, their primary traps being motion-activated crack grenades made to fire and detonate whatever object or mass that crossed its motion sensor, making the chances of the arm that piercing grenade to damage the ship's hull far smaller, because they were not near the hull. Eventually, the chapter ran itself to less than 25 Battle Brothers, with Battle Brother Janus and Chapter Master Abba Damoclon leading the Shattered Remnants. However, after repairing the ship in suicide runs, because of the damage points lying in Romelian territory, the chapter had, after being struck to a dormant and battered state, was mobile again, and the ship was directed into safety. The chapter began to kidnap tribesmen for using the scouts they produced a century ago, and kept in safety and interrogated them to discover where they were located in the highest concentration, which was the Petro's primary ship bay. After sending a Terminator squad down to eliminate the menace, what was discovered was a now flourishing society made up of thousands of individuals in the now unified civilization of Aramila Brim. The city was dotted with towering metal spires, the Romelians called mosques, points of prayer to the Ashlabraptor. And around these mosques lay bazaars dealing out custom built machines, scrapped together from ripped out parts of the ship around them, and their only food source, a grown moss that grew near the vicinity of the ship's engines. The Terminator Squad was met with awe and fear from the inhabitants, which had the ability to control their skin's melanin to counter light and radiation. Having the option to turn their skin paper white to a vanta black and everywhere in between. It was decided amongst the chapter that this people would be the chosen resource to recruit from. The future Battle Brothers proved to be intelligent and naturally skilled mechanics. They could also control their melanin to break free from mutation their parent chapter Gene Seed gave them. The chapter rules Ramil in a distant dictatorship. The chapter often trading technology and spoils collected in their travels with the people of Ramil in return for recruits and hired servants to protect and repair the ship when the chapter was away. The chapter also gave them control over piloting the Thunderhawk gunships and aircraft, essentially concreting their chapter's navy. The Ramil and Desert Hunters now live in a symbiotic relationship, and one cannot operate without the other. Given this, the chapter is extremely protective of their people, and have been known to be extremely controlling over their activities outside of the ship, to the point of obsessive tyranny.